We were together earlier, having three children. I became separate while I have nothing in the name of property. Villagers did not trust about my purchasing power for one kilogram meat. Those villagers are still living in the village, but now my life is better on account of support by Poverty Alleviation Fund. Sarita Gargi from Ramachap district has had a difficult past which is evidently described by the tears that roll down her eyes when remembering the bygone days. But now, not only is she contend with her present times, but also her future and that of her family look brighter than ever. Sarita now runs a shop and a cafeteria and faces no financial problems. Now, my financial position is better than past. No problem to eat in the morning and evening. From income of the sub, I'm getting able to feed and educate my three children. Leela Bika from Dang district lived a life full of sorrow and despair in the past. But now, her nights and days are full of happiness and hope. When asked about this difference, he clearly states the reason for the change of her fortune, which has brought prosperity to herself, her family and her society. I felt awkward in initial phase of joining a community organization. This is the village of Dalit and Janjati communities. Normally, we do not have money. We were able to collect 50 rupees in a month. Only after doing labor work, having joined an organization, we have got opportunity to be united. In past, only male member of the family used to engage in monetary transaction, but now we women are also engaging in such transaction. It had made us happy. <laughs> Sanam Karna and her community, hailing from Dhanusa district, has seen a sea of changes made to their life, especially with the commercialization of their traditional Mithila art. The women living in the squatter camp are happy for being able to use their time creatively and generate income from it. In past, I used to work for the people 
But the poverty alleviation fund trained me for Mithila art and now doing my own work of painting. We should have worked for others to earn five to seven thousand for the month. Such initiative of the Poverty Alleviation Fund made 27 women employed and now they are earning money. Bhagarati Bista from Patan Baitari has a fascinating story of change and awareness of her own. Her experience is both a representative of the changes seen in the lives of other women from her village and an inspiration to many others. I used to send my children to community school and now have enrolled them to private school. My two children are studying in class 5 and 8. Now it's easier to get a loan. In past, we should have paid 60% interest for loan, but now we can get in 12% from our community organization. The testimonies we have heard are all but representatives of many other such experiences and views which reiterate the positive changes seen in the lives of the people. These people from across the country, be it from a remote village in the hills or a far-lying place of the Tarai region, have attained happiness and prosperity like never before. The credit for this goes to the Poverty Alleviation Fund which has facilitated 800,000 households of 55 districts to improve the quality of their life. The members of the 30,000 community organizations across the country set up by Poverty Alleviation Fund are no longer compelled to receive loan at a high interest rate from the local brokers. They can instead get loan at less than 12% from the revolving fund of their own community organization and engage in income generating activities. The revolving funds have been established from the amount provided by Poverty Alleviation Fund with an additional 10% amount collected by the community. The Poverty Alleviation Fund does not ask for return amount of the fund. When the Poverty Alleviation Fund entered the village, we met a group in the village. Members of the group have no idea that what can be done. But after forming a group, members have been united to engage in social work. The members have started livestock farming and run a small shop. They are generating income by such activities which is changing a lifestyle. We have rupees 150,000 in our fund and loan is provided from the same fund in low interest. Three of us from group established a small shop. Likewise, another two have established tailor and done buffalo farming. I grew up in a village and according to our tradition, we take grains instead of tailoring wage. The Poverty Elevation Fund staff suggested me to go to district headquarters Gangari and to run tailoring business and I did it accordingly. After coming to Gamgari, I was able to send my children to a good school and I've also built a house.
I started this business with only 20,000 rupees, but now, if needed, I can manage up to 2 million rupees. We had a group of 20 women members, whereas 10 members left the group. Now they are engaged in a small shop and fish production. Initially, the Poverty Alleviation Fund provided our group 288,000 rupees for income generating programs. At first, we only saved 5 rupees from our side. Then we were suggested to save at least 100 rupees as 5 rupees was very less. We started saving 100 rupees. Having started the project of Poverty Alleviation Fund in our village, we have made 38 saving by 24 members. Now, the lifestyle of the poor people from Ward No. 16 is improving. We used to work as porter carrying stone and mud in a village for hand to mouth, but we got support to keep goat and cow for income generation. We produce vegetable and sold for income and was able to make children sent to school. The problem of a hand-to-mouth was solved. If we got more support, then we can make future of our children. Of course, our children are going to school since the poverty elevation funds support it. We want more and continued support, and we, the Dalit women, hardly express our gratefulness toward the poverty elevation fund. I got 10,000 from a group and bought two goods. Unfortunately, one got died and another one sold in 13,000. I bought a nanny from the money got from goat selling. Now there is nanny, goat and kids in my animal farm. I have also established a shop for seven months. Now I am able to send my two children to school by doing this work. They were interested to be a member of a group. We convinced them to deposit 10% and establish fund. We invested for them to bring fries since fish production and selling it is the traditional occupation. They are happy since loan provision in a low interest rate. The members of the community organizations feel ownership of the revolving fund because the collected amount and interest can be accessed by all the members. Similarly, the unity among the members has been further strengthened by the regular interactions and monthly meetings. The revolving fund has played a pivotal part in improving their quality of life and in short proper education and health facilities for the children. Those youths who went for foreign employment are also involved in our group. They are taking loan at a low interest rate and have started their own business. Because of it, foreign employment in our village has decreased. We have prepared a proposal of physical infrastructure development on the basis of local people's demand. We have also deposited budget money for such infrastructure construction in the bank account of the community group. 
They have mobilized the budget by forming various committees. Before start to the project, people of different age groups from our district used to go to India for seasonal employment. But now, due to the support from the Poverty Elevation Fund, they are engaged in their own business even if it is small in scale. They have been directly benefited by such businesses and people do not go to India for employment any longer. Through business, the members of the community group have improved their lifestyle. We have invested about 50 million rupees through 270 community organizations for conducting income generating projects. The community organizations are also running 117 projects for infrastructure development. 108 of the total projects have been completed and the rest of the projects are going ahead and will be completed by mid of June. We have already spent almost 110 million rupees for physical infrastructure development. Apart from this, 7,169 households are affiliated to 270 community organizations, 5,038 members are women and 20,131 are men. Comparatively, this is a poor district with the majority of its inhabitants being indigenous people. This project has focused on poor family of the backward village and they are directly benefiting from it. Apart from this, we are also providing them capacity building trainings through our community organizations. The trainings aspire to make them able entrepreneurs. We previously had four partner organizations but now there are three organizations. We have formed two project areas in support of partner organizations. The first is Fresh Vegetable Production in Basantapur and the second the Chate Dunga Village Development Committee Goat Rearing Project. The Poverty Elevation Fund has established revolving fund in extremely poor villages of remote areas. It has been providing various training on need basis. The Poverty Elevation Fund has been working for the prosperity and desired change in the society in areas like income generation, physical infrastructure development, capacity building and social empowerment. The revolving fund has been very effective in generating income for citizens of remote villages of the country. The Poverty Elevation Fund conducted a research collaborating with the Center for Economic Development and Administration of Thrivan University. The finding of the research conducted from 2007 to 2014 shows poverty alleviation by 11.4%. This is a hard evidence which shows that this project is supporting to alleviate poverty. We have formed 32,000 organizations that have functioning policy, action plan and good governance. And all these actions are done through transparent decision-making process. 
We are collaborating with other local governmental and non-governmental organizations to boost up our participation. We have sent 14 billion rupees through the revolving fund to provide financial resources to the communities to carry out income generating activities. The revolving fund has brought many desired changes in lives of Chepang and Ravang people and freed Kamayas from Kanchanpur. In short, if the poverty elevation fund had not taken any initiative, poverty would have increased, especially among the underprivileged people. Now we are successful to mitigate as much as 2.49% poverty per year. This is the finding of the joint research of the Center for Economic Development and Administration Trivan University and Poverty Alleviation Fund. The Poverty Alleviation Fund has invested a total of 14 billion rupees for the revolving funds across the country. The members of the community organizations are always willing to share the happiness and prosperity made possible by the revolving fund. <laughs> The Poverty Elevation Fund has created the community organizations in collaboration with the various local partner organizations. In the same community organization, the Poverty Elevation Fund has established a revolving fund which aims at supporting the livelihood and providing quality health and education for the children of the members. The project also aspires improving social harmony by making all sectors of societies feel respected and responsible. Tell 